Okay, here's this book. The name of the chapter is Murderers and White Gals. I'm not going to read the rest of it. I think I got what I need. Um, all right. Why is this important? First of all, he identifies a Jewish anti-fascist. What is it called? Jewish Anti-Fascist Committee. Started on September 24, 1941. However, in Khrushchev's memoirs, he doesn't identify the origin of the Jewish Anti-Fascist Committee in the same manner. Right? For instance. And he has a different understanding of what its intention is and is reflected here. But what this man says is that that the that Stalin attempted to organize Polish Jews from the Bund into the Soviet military or into the Soviet army. And then there was a Polish ambassador in Moscow trying to find out what was happening. The 15,000 Polish officers held in Soviet prisoners of war camps. Among these officers were many Polish Jews. What do you mean by among these officers were many Polish Jews? Do you mean many? Or did they specifically attempt to do something in the alignment therein comparable to what had happened earlier in another part of the world? And that ended up happening later. Did they specifically, did the Polish have a specific preponderance of Jews in the military leadership? Did Hitler and them identify or try to find specifically the Jewish officers and concentrate them into camps while, meanwhile, Polish Jews were being rounded up in Siberia? See, this would make sense. And so the Katyn massacre is about more than just taking out people that were of Prussian stock, identified as military leaders in the Polish army. Correct? 